Today first thing we are launching a program of 10008 minutes for peace Please understand people whose third eye is awakened if they sit and do a sankalpa create a will it will simply become reality so not only i am going to create yogis whose third eyes are awakened i am going to put them to use that energy in the direction of creating a world peace we are really really interested in the world peace we don't want to talk about it we want to work for it we are not interested in any award reward peace prize no but we will do it we will make it happen we are starting our first event 10008 minutes for peace for kenya so we will have at least 10000 yogis sitting and radiating peace to the whole universe we will generate more and more and more enlightened beings jivan muktas doing this to themselves and to the world so tomorrow we are starting this program first we are going to concentrate our energies to bring peace in kenya next kashmir please listen consciousness is not inside your body or outside your body it is everything whatever you understand see if consciousness is inside your body and your body and mind is there then you can say embodied but here upanishads are very clearly declaring everything is consciousness then how can you say you are embodied conscious no embodied means something other than conscious should exist but here it is not it is not unembodied boundaryless whole it is just boundaryless how will you imagine try try your best <laughs> boundaryless Consciousness, it, it's all pervading, it fills everything. So where is the space for it to move? There's no space where consciousness is not present. Everywhere consciousness is present. And con- a quality of consciousness is that it moves and it's not moving. So we are the microcosm in the whole, the, in the whole consciousness, that is the macrocosm. And since we are moving, the consciousness is moving. But since whatever expands in this whole cosmos, is always filled by consciousness consciousness does not move from one place to another but we are the microcosm which is present inside the macrocosm of the cosmos which is moving even the very power which you have to make a decision in your life itself is due to the consciousness which you have in you like nowadays most of them don't even want to decide for anything they don't even want to use their will power to decide for something unless it's like their survival need only then they are using their will power so now we have become so lazy and so tired and bored and so our consciousness has become so low that we don't even want to use our will power to do something which we want to achieve we just want to be lazy and roam around 
so even that possibility given to you to make a decision in your life is out of the consciousness which is present in you what i feel is if you feel that living uh, according to how the upanishad explains if you think it's too much for you you can easily follow the karmic agama that is directly given by shiva for you to experience the consciousness so instead of sitting and contemplating how you can how you can um, how you can live in your daily life how the consciousness describes you can live the karmic agama what i feel is karmic agama is something which can be the first start the jump start to start living the way upanishads tell us and what i feel is that also whenever the, you have any situation in your life if you want to make something as your cognition that time having the understanding like okay consciousness is moving and unmoving so that means it's present everywhere and i am part of it if it's it's even present in me so when you have this understanding and make a decision out of this understanding as you keep making such decisions in your life then naturally it will just become your cognition and every action you do will be based on this only so this is how i feel you can make the different things which upanishad describes as the attributes of consciousness as part of your cognition look once i got wheezing and i tried how to use it but i wasn't able to do it what was lagging me I, i i tried my best like i don't know what was lagging me but i was not able to control my wheezing what i feel is it's just your self doubt which is not letting that life energy flow through you just because you doubt that life energy that it will really help me or not because you have that doubt about the uh, the life energy you are not able to let it completely flow through you and heal you